Oh boys, is it cold outside? But today we got another eBay special up on here. Since the last video did so good, let's try this one. Today we're doing a shop upgrade. And this one is probably, hopefully if it works out good, the best one yet. Because we bought a mini split. So that's heat and air, 500 bucks on eBay. Let's go out here, unbox this thing and see what we're working with. Might bring it in here because it is cold after all. So in this box is a complete, well, these two boxes. That's the head. Everybody knows how much the little heads were. But uh, yeah, this is the main system. And this gets delivered straight to your house. Try to cut this band. Ridsy threads on there. Threads with uh, some uh, staples. Try to pop this bad boy open. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get that razor knife in my leg. This is a comfort total. That's a weird name, but uh, yeah, comfort total. Again, this is everything in one shot. Later, but yeah, ow. Okay. so this is the harness to go from this unit to your head unit because that's what controls everything is your head unit. This is one set of your uh, AC lines has all the fittings on it. The other set on the other side here. This is your drain tube for your head because it does create moisture. This is your other uh, cooling line, heating cooling line. The only thing I'm seeing that I'm going to have to do is this doesn't come with an wall mount. It's in Spanish. Why am I trying to read it? When you sell something in America or Spanish, I don't know. I'm asking you that. But yeah, this is the blower unit. There's all your connectors, some tape to seal your lines and stuff. Is that all in there? Yeah, okay, that's all that's in this box. This is really your main setup here. I didn't see no instructions. They're pretty, pretty straightforward. But Usually if they come with instructions, I'd like to have them just in case an error occurs. But yeah. Comfort total, that's your outside blower unit. Very small. That's about this, a little bit bigger than a box fan. Again, this is a two or a 110 unit. 120, however you want to say it. These. These. Ah. Cut all this off. This up. Oh god, here comes shop cat. What are you doing? You come out here to be mean some more? Huh? Okay. And as I said, this is the head. This is your blower and everything in one. Out of there without 
breaking my finger. Or breaking it. basically your kit this is your air filter comes into here blows out the bottom this goes like this these are Wi-Fi controlled so you can turn your heat on before you ever even get to the garage or your AC depending on what you're using that day but yeah we are going to go ahead and get this baby. Let me get this down before it falls. But yeah, that's your head. This is your main compressor. We're going to go ahead and get this baby ready to install. Uh, I'm probably going to make some sort of mount to get this off the ground. Because I don't want this sitting directly on the ground at all. I would like it pretty high up actually snow rain anything like that i don't want just flooding it so that'll be the next step but as you can see comfort total blower here's my hand so it's a little bit i don't know probably about 10 12 inches wide by uh two and a half foot long the head's about three foot long by a foot wide nothing really it's very small footprint for your shop and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the head up high somewhere i'm thinking over here by the tv or over here and uh i just gotta hook it all up is it through it's a pretty easy install so far everything's color coded we're getting ready to run our holes for the uh, hard lines to go through right here gonna run a different line for my water line and I put it up too high and I'm gonna have to put in a little uh, extension cord too but we're gonna finish hooking this up now well it's all hooked up now these things take notoriously long to switch from AC to heat I just swapped it over on heat as you can see I got it on 78 to test it we are just basically waiting for it to swap we're gonna go run the to town real quick all right, so let's finish up this video on the mini split here. What do I think? Will it work? Yeah, it probably will work for my garage, but the thing is right now, I'm not exactly sealed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I need to put another piece of metal up here. I've got new airlines coming because this is just hose and it's all just leaking, constant kicking on. I plasticed off the other side to sort of stop any more air leaking. It's a garage. It's not a home. It's not sealed super tight. Uh, it's not built onto a house. It's concrete floors, so this stuff gets cold and stays cold. You know, once I get the ceiling sealed and, you know, all the little cracks up around the ceiling and I keep that, you know, partitioned off this side of the garage is 18 by 22 so it should have no problem keeping this side warm it that would be about 400 square foot that is 500 some of them say 600 square foot at 12,000 BTU but again it's 40 degrees outside it's 58 in here is what it says anyway on my wall thermometer it says it's 58 you know is it workable yeah it is is it practical probably not not till i get this thing fully sealed so right now i'll have to do some double duty as far as i'll be using my propane heat and this at the same time till i get everything sealed up good but i know it'll work i can tell just by that thing keeping it you know almost 60 degrees in here when it's I bet it's probably less than uh 
I don't know, it's probably 30 degrees outside. Let me check. Yeah, so it's 27 degrees outside. And for that to keep it uh, 58 degrees in here, I think it's doing pretty good, actually. Now that I think about it, but yeah, with the massive amounts of, you know, open space going into the attic or the upper part, the peak, you know, gaps through here where my garage isn't straight, which, you know, I built this thing quick, fast, and in a hurry. So once I get this thing fully sealed on the ceiling, I think it'll have no problem keeping it pretty much 60, 70 degrees in here, which is where I want it to be about 70 in here at all times uh during the winter time anyway but around i don't know i'd be happy at uh 75 77 degrees in the summer if this can cool it down to that i would be more than happy but again there's things like my doggy door over here that's not super insulated and stuff like that so i'm giving it all the credit in the world if it was 220 it would probably do this even the way it was like with no uh ceiling covering or anything like that but again i'm already running a plug out here for a 224 welder a 220 for the compressor i was just like i don't want to run another 220 out here for a heater that you know Really, I'm not in the garage all day, every day. If I'm in this garage all day, every day, yeah, 220, running, cooking constantly, yeah. But uh, as for now, I am going to call it a day out here. I'm going to leave this on all night, and I'm going to see what the temperature is in the morning. But if you, for you guys out there who have like a uh, a garage attached to your house that has no heat, this would kill it. If you have a uh, a small well not even small because my garage again it's pretty big if you had that this size in a home like a big room in a home this would definitely do it but for a, a slap together garage which is not slap together but you know it's not perfect something that's not super sealed or anything probably want to get something bigger or get two of these but I think it's gonna work in here when I get this place all sealed up. I thought I could see my breath for a second, but no. Uh, runs 70 right now. It feels moderately warm coming out of it. So yeah, it's just, it's sucking in the cold air right now from up here. It's coming out of the attic space, sucking down into it, cooling the air coming out of it instead of having it warm from sucking in the air from the room, so. But I still think it's worth it <clears throat> or 500 bucks if you had a better garage sealed more insulated blah 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 it'd probably do wonders for you but I'm gonna get back to work <laughs>